Welcome to the channel. I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a stop loss on the KuCoin spot market. Before we begin, I want to let you know that this video is not financial advice. This video is intended for educational purposes only. If you end up getting some value out of it, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. To set up a stop loss on the spot market, we'll come down here to our order panel and we'll come over here where it says stop limit and give that a click. And you'll notice there's a couple of options in here. You have stop limit as well as stop market. You'll also see that there's OCO down below here, which stands for one cancels the other. And that allows you to set a take profit as well as a stop loss at the same time. And I did a separate video for that. So I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that's interested in learning about that. In this video, I'll cover stop market and stop limit. So let's go ahead and start with a stop market. Now that we have the order panel set to stop market, we need to simply choose a price point to set our stop loss at. So let's come up here to the chart and just for fun, let's use this big obvious pivot point on the market right here. Perhaps we think to ourselves, if Ethereum starts to close below this level here, maybe it's becoming probable that the price of this asset is just going to continue to decrease. So maybe we want to use that area as our stop loss. Just for fun, I'll grab a horizontal here and let's go ahead and set it just below these two wicks, maybe something like that. Now we can see there's a price point correlating to that horizontal on the y-axis of the chart coming in at 1,406. We'll come down here to the order panel and under stop, we'll type that in, 1,406. Next, we need to choose the quantity, so the amount of the asset we wish to sell if our stop loss gets hit. And for this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and click on 100%. Once you have this set up the way that you want it, simply click on sell. Now we've placed that stop market order. So if the price of Ethereum continues to go to the downside and hits our stop price right here, our Ethereum will sell for the best available price off of the order book. We can find the details of our stop loss if we come down here. Next to open orders, you'll see where it says advanced orders. Just give that a click and here's where you'll find your stop market order. This order will stay in place until it either gets hit or we manually cancel it. If at any point you want to cancel it, just come over here on the right hand side and click on cancel. Now, as you can see, I removed that stop market. Now I'll show you how a stop limit order works. We'll come back over to our order panel. We'll click this little triangle, then click on stop limit. The first thing we need to do is choose a stop price. This is going to be a price point that acts as a condition that tells KuCoin to place a limit order to sell our coins. So let's go ahead and use this horizontal right here again. Of course, we can see the price of that horizontal on the Y axis of the chart at 1,406. We'll come down here to the order panel and we'll type that in, 1,406. If the price of Ethereum comes down to 1,406, that's going to trigger KuCoin to place a limit order to sell our coins. So now we need to choose a limit price. So let's come back up here to the chart and let's choose a limit price somewhere slightly below this wick right here. I'll go ahead and grab another horizontal for my drawing tools and I'll mark an area just below that wick, something like this. Good enough for this demonstration. Now I can see a price point correlating to that horizontal on the Y axis of the chart coming in at 1,361. So we'll come down here to our order panel and we'll type that into price, 1,361. This will be the price that KuCoin sells our coins if our stop price gets hit. Now there's a couple things to know about this. The first thing is, is I always like to leave a little bit of breathing room between my limit price and my stop price. If price action gets moving really, really fast and manages to get below your limit price before KuCoin sells your coins, the coins will be placed as a limit order on the order book. They won't actually sell. You'll be waiting for price to bounce and come back up to your limit price before that order fills and executes. Now that's pretty rare. Exchanges are really quick about getting these orders onto the order book, but it's just something I don't like to leave to chance. The other thing to know is that if your stop price gets hit, your coins are going to sell for your limit price or better. So if there's a better price available on the order book when the stop price gets hit, your coins will sell for a higher price than what you put into your limit price. So you can always feel comfortable leaving a little bit of breathing room there. The main thing is, is you just don't want price to somehow get below your limit price before the order fills. Otherwise, it just sits there and waits for price to come back up and then it fills the order for you. And there's no guarantee that that'll happen. So once you have things set up the way that you want it, you come down here to your order panel and you choose the quantity of the asset you wish to sell if your stop loss gets hit. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and just click on 100%, then click on sell. Now I've successfully placed that stop limit order. So to recap, if price manages to get down there and hits my stop price right here, 
KuCoin will place an order to sell my coins at 1,361 or better. If there's a better price point than my limit price down here, when my stop price gets hit, the coins will sell for a higher price. You can find the details of your order if you come down here, right next to open orders, you'll see where it says advanced orders. Give that a click and here's where you'll find your stop limit order. This order will stay in place until it either hits or you manually cancel it. So if at any point you want to cancel it, just come over here on the right hand side, click on cancel. And as you can see, I just removed that stop limit order. And there you have it. That's how you set up a stop loss on the KuCoin spot market. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also feel free to check out my other KuCoin tutorials, which I put together for you in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.